Hey YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to Crypto Pigs. Today I'm going to do my PTMG analysis on Civic. This coin was one of the most hyped and popular coins in August, with everyone being excited about their potential. Then it kind of dropped, as you can see by the price. Let's see if they still have that potential now. So what does PTMG stand for? It's the problems I solve, the project idea, the potential for generating revenue, the team, the marketing, the market cap, the short slash long term goals of the project, and then I'll wrap it all up with a summary. Civic is trying to solve the problem of hackers and personal information leaks. They want to prevent identity fraud, which in 2016 affected over 15.4 million adults in the US alone, with 1.1 billion identities stolen globally in 2016. Personal information was the most common form of data stolen, and they state that the service industry is the most affected by data breaches, accounting for 45% of the breaches followed by finance and real estate. Also, there's a market for scanned passports and other documents such as your utility bill. So what's Civic's project idea? Civic is an identity management service that allows you to protect and authorize the use of your identity in real time. They also offer additional features to help protect your identity, such as credit report alerting, identity fraud coverage, and access to 24 seven fraud support. Keeping the data in your control makes it tougher for hackers to obtain your information. Now for potential for generating revenue. The Civic token is used as a form of settlement between participants to an identity related transaction within the civics ecosystem. The diagram above me gives, gives you an idea how it works and how the tokens are used. Token owners can purchase services from Civic. Also, they are looking to build additional identity focused services, services to run your background checks, blockchain notary services, dark web monitoring, and peer to peer identity services. Now for one of the most important parts of the analysis, their team. Civic's team is one of the best I've seen. I actually had a super hard time researching them because they only have two on their website and it's both of the co-founders. I had to look on LinkedIn to find the rest of their team and it was actually fairly big. Since it was so big, I'm only going to post their stars and their superstars. So first we have Jonathan Smith. He is the CTO and co-founder. So this guy has some high profile positions at some huge companies. He was VP at Genpack for two years and head of fixed income and structured products OP Tech at RBS Global Banking for three years. Next, we have Chris. He's the VP of Product Marketing and Business Development. He worked at Apple for years as a strategist and special project, worked for General Dynamics as a business developer and program manager, then was a product marketing manager and product manager at Microsoft. Also was a product manager at Oracle. So definitely superstar experience there. Next, we have Max. He worked for Google as a software engineer for a little over a year. Superstar for Google experience. So first we have Jonathan Smith. He is the CTO and co-founder. So this guy has some high profile positions at some huge companies. He was VP at Genpack for two years and head of fixed income and structure products, OP tech and structure products and structured products OP Tech at RBS Global Banking for three years. Next, we have Chris. He's the VP of Product Marketing and Business Development. He worked at Apple for a year as a strategy, as a strategist, as a strategist and a project, and as a strategist and special project. Worked for General Dynamics as a business developer and program manager, then was a product marketing manager and product manager at Microsoft. Also, was a product manager at Oracle. So definitely superstar experience there. Next, we have Max. He worked for Google as a software engineer for a little over a year. Superstar for Google experience. So after Max, we have Zachary Bush, who is the product manager. He worked at Palantar Technologies for over 11 years, and he gets a star for that experience. Then Min Kim, who is the chief of staff, her superstar experience comes from RBC, where she was a venture debt analyst. RBC is the Royal Bank of Canada and is Canada's largest bank and one of the world's largest bank. Therefore, superstar status there. Next, we have Marina. She is under business development. She gets her superstar experience from Nomura 
where she was vice president of European Equity Capital Markets. Then we have Kristen, who is head of risk and compliance. He worked at Facebook as a fraud analyst, so superstar there. Next, we have Stefan Smith. He is a software engineer with seven years of experience at MTN, which is a big telecoms company in South Africa. I gave him a star for that experience. Finally, we have Anna. She is the head of business operations and customer success. She has over nine years of experience at Thomson Reuters, which has over 45,000 employees. This team is amazing. They have seven superstars and two stars. It's always great to see a team that I want to invest in that is super, super amazing, superstar studded. Now for their advisors, I found one that really stuck out. It's Anthony. He was a founder at Ethereum and that alone makes him a superstar in my eyes. Now for their marketing. Civic has a super active telegram with their CEO Vinny being active there. I actually got to talk to him for a bit, which was pretty awesome. They don't have a medium. Twitter is super active with announcements and updates. As you can see, Vinny retweeted. There's been a bunch of tweets from them. They talk about how they're going to be on InvestFeed or they retweeted that because InvestFeed did talk about it. So it shows that they're definitely active, super positive thing in my opinion. Their Facebook is fairly active with announcements and updates. Also right above me, there's a picture of Civic Partners. You can pause the video if you want to kind of check them out. Now for Civic competition, I couldn't really find anything that was direct competition, at least within the blockchain. If I missed any, please let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll update it and pin it. To me though, their biggest hurdle is the government. They really need this adoption from them to be successful. But if slash once they do jump on with the government, then Civic will go crazy. You better watch out and hopefully you'll be on board. Now for Civic's market cap, it's 110 million. They're currently they're sitting around 32 cents or 5,500 sats. The all time high was 65 cents around 18.5 thousand sats and about 225 million market cap on August 11th. It was right after the Bitcoin cash fork. Maybe it will happen the same thing for Segwit. I don't think so just because they have so much information and so much hurdles to, to beat before they can really pump in my opinion. They have 340 million circulating supply, 1 billion total supply. Their volume in the last 24 hours is 2 million. Their exchanges that they're on is super positive. They got Bitrix, Poloniex, KuCoin, and Cost. Definitely some great exchanges there. I love Bitrix, as I always say. And I also like Poloniex. KuCoin and Cross are also super easy to use, and I have been using those. So short slash long-term goals. We'll start with Q4 2017. That's their alpha phase. Select providers will have the Civic platform ready for use. Partners can, can transact with the CVC token as a payment for verification services. They can validate identities in the exchange for the token, plugins for developer community, and rollout of Civic development program. Then in Q1 2018 is closed beta. Select identities can operate independently on the network. Civic expands app functionality to include KYC services, then reusable KYC in the marketplace. Then Q2 2018 is open beta. Open enrollment of identity providers allow any civic vetted organization to begin attesting to the data. Partners can use fiat currency to interact on the marketplace. And then the marketplace SDK is publicly available. Then Q3 2018, full product release of the civic marketplace. Marketplace is open to all participants. Then Q4 2018, or they're gonna open their civic exchange. All participants can submit orders in civic or CVC to USD on the open platform run by Civic. So as you can see, they have a fairly extensive roadmap, shows that Civic has a direction and a clear goal to where they wanna meet, at least within a year's time. This is something I always wanna see if I'm gonna invest heavily or even a little bit in, in a company. So Civic, as we all know, was slash is a super promising coin for the future. Its price is ridiculously low right now for the potential that this coin has, but they have to hit some hurdles or jump some hurdles to actually hit that potential. Their team is exceptional. It's one of the best I've seen and their roadmap is straightforward and it's super clear. They have no competition at least yet. And like I said, just that government hurdle, which is a huge hurdle, but will be great if they do pass that. And it's pretty much essential for them to be successful. But if that happens, Civic will and I promise you will take off. I'm excited to see what the star-studded team can do. Remember to research and invest wisely.
Thank you everyone for watching my civic video. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button right there. I appreciate all your feedback and suggestions. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.